Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is episode four of building the Citadel in Lego. This series is being sponsored by Light My Bricks, so a huge thank you to them. Some of the products that you will see in the video have been provided by them, so huge thanks to Light My Bricks. This video has a lot of progress. I got a ton of progress done on the mountain. If you guys remember the last video, I had just started working on the Citadel Tower. By the end of this video, you guys will see the fully integrated Citadel Tower and a good chunk of the mountain being completed. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get right into it. So here we have a Light My Bricks package. This was actually sent over by them. As you guys know, they are sponsoring the series. So as we can see here at the bottom, there's the four flicker effects boards, and they sent me four of the blue lightsabers as well as six of the green lightsabers. So this is insanely helpful, and I'm super grateful to Light My Bricks for sponsoring the series and sending these over. So as you can see, I've made a ton of progress. The tower is now fully integrated into the lava at the bottom, and I'm starting to work my way up here on the side. Over here, you can't really see it because it's being blocked by the tower, but this side is almost fully done, which I'm really happy with. The main thing that I really wanted to focus on this week was getting the tower integrated into the mock. So as you can see, now it is kind of standing up here. I do have these kind of mandibles, you could say, going out of the rock. So the tower is kind of cut into the rock there and then I integrated it into the lava as well. So I'm really happy with how this looks. And then for the base here, I'm kind of doing a bunch of different tiles and some half plate offsets, quarter plate offsets, just sliding tiles and getting them up as close to the border of the tower as possible. And I think it's working out pretty well. It's definitely the easiest way to do it because this angle does not fit with any wedges or slopes or anything like that. So I'm gonna keep going with this. And then the only other thing is, as you can see, I have some trans clear plates here. And the reason that these are kind of staggered the way that they are is to try to have this be as level as possible because obviously the tower is at an angle. So I wanted the lights to be flat like they are in the show. So this was the best way that I could come up with to do that. And that actually raised another question, which is the dark bluish gray stripes that I did in the last video. Now those things are obviously angled, so I'm gonna have to revisit that, but I might end up just taking those out. And then the last thing is some of these exposed studs. This is for some supports that kind of come down at the base of the tower. The first one should be going straight into the lava, but because of the way that I built the lava, there is kind of a checkered pattern. So I decided to just bring out the rocks all the way to the front here, and then just put the mandibles, just all of them on top. But I do like the way that this looks, and then the other one on the other side is pretty much the same, so I'll show you guys that in a little bit. I'm using these really long curved slope pieces for now, and I think I'm probably going to stick with these because it's a little bit inaccurate to the show, but I think if I tried to mimic the way it looked in the show, it would just come across looking very blocky and unpurposeful. So I'm going to stick with these for now, and if I just go ahead and snap these on here, and then I have some longer ones for the middle. And then the last one I'm using dark red because I don't have any more of the light bluish gray, but this just snaps in like so. But now you can kind of see what I was going for with the lights. So that is my idea. And I will obviously be having lights inside of the tower. So these will all be illuminated. And I have some on the other side as well. So now I think I'm gonna just pull back and show you guys the entirety of the progress that I've gotten done this week. All right, so now you can see the full view of the mountain so far. As you can see, as I mentioned earlier, the left side is pretty much done. I do wanna go up a little bit taller, probably just to about where the screen cuts off. My challenge with this is I want it to be tall enough that the minifigures don't look too big when they're on the rock face, but also I don't want it to be so tall that then the tower starts to look small. So I'm gonna have to try and find the sweet spot between those two, but I am very happy with the way that this looks so far. I know some people are gonna wish that I just went for the more classic kind of rock work, with the slopes, but I do like this for the Clone Wars style because it is pretty flat in the show and you can kind of see layers, which I tried to emulate. 
and it just kind of works its way up with different layers of slopes and stuff. So I did that all intentionally and I think it works pretty well. And it definitely does look better when you're not looking at it straight on. You can see all the bumps and ridges from the different layers of slopes. The purple is a little bit patchy, but when you're looking at it, it adds in so much color that is definitely needed. Otherwise, this would be just straight up dark gray. There's really no other colors to mix in with this, so it is definitely necessary, and I'm pretty happy with the way that I integrated the color. I tried to do different shapes of the patches of color, so every patch looks a little bit different from the other ones, which is definitely necessary. But overall, I am very happy with this, and just the way that everything is coming together, I'm really satisfied with this. The lava looks great. I am really happy with the technique that I went for with that. And then the tower I was actually getting pretty skeptical of, but I worked with it and I came up with a design and a technique that I'm pretty happy with. As I mentioned before, the dark gray lines, I might end up taking out because everything else is at a right angle. But then once you get up to those lines of the dark bluish gray, it breaks that illusion that I'm going for. So I do probably want to get rid of those. I'll just go for straight up gray. And then there are other things going on in the tower, like the lights that I've been working with and other things that will kind of make it still interesting. But for now, I am pleased with the amount of progress that I made. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode four of building the Citadel in Lego. As I mentioned, we got a ton of progress done this week. I am very happy with the way that this mock is turning out. I probably am going to have to start making a few more orders because I'm starting to run low on some of the pieces that I've been using to build the rock wall. And I've also been working on the shuttle so hopefully once I can kind of finalize that design, I'll be able to show you guys exactly what that is going to look like. And I'm really, really excited for that. So there's lots more to come in this series and you guys are definitely not going to want to miss out. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of the future Citadel progress updates. Once again, huge special thanks to Light My Bricks for sponsoring the series. And with that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.